Okay, so testing. Testing the Sigma 16 lens on the Sony A7 because I'm getting this A7R2 <coughs> and I'm gonna use crop lens on it. So, this is a test before I get the camera itself. Just to see how it looks. Although I'm shooting 1080p on this crap A7, it's really bad. Alright. Christmas tree. Ponto Rosso. Cosa? Ponto Rosso. Rec. Rec. Cioè? Sì, sto registrando. Sì, sì. This is just another test. You're out of focus. Yeah, from previous tests. Alright, from previous footage, I already noticed that the out of focus is really bad. Still out of focus? Sì. I try to press on the shutter button. Half, half press. Yeah, half this press. one? The, the silver one. Just slightly press on it. Okay. Maybe focus better. Nice on focus, yes. Okay, better? <clears throat> yes. So we have to manual focus it. I mean, not manual, but to click the shutter button to yeah, but a lot of trigger time. it to focus. It loses the focus. It's really slow. And the A7 autofocus system is just crap. It's just crap. Maybe it doesn't work well with a uh, uh, third-party lens, but I remember it worked pretty well with the native lens in Sony. Anyway, that's the test. How's the shell depth of field? Does the bokeh look good? The background blur is delicious. That's what I want to test. Alright, that's it. Let's go. Shopping, shopping. These are our honeys, but check out the price on this one. 20 euro for that little jar. This is crazy. How does it look? I'm gonna put uh, the Sigma 16 on my A6300 again, shoot another clip just to s compare the bokeh, see if there's difference between using a crop body and uh, using full frame and the crop mode. Um, how does that affect the bokeh? Alright, we're back on the A6300 and uh, this is a comparison between uh, this bokeh and the the previous bokeh you've seen and actually the a6300 is heavier with a small rig than a7 hmm. and it's a small rig you can't mount it on a7 anyway how does it look the bokeh is there any difference big difference do you notice it's a lot of difference it's the both shot on f1.4 and uh, a6300 obviously has way better autofocus. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video.